Today we're looking at rewriting two-digit subtraction problems, which is going to be very similar to um, what we did yesterday. We're just going to be writing them out ourselves rather than having them already written out for us. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're looking at how we can subtract two-digit numbers. Here's our problem of the day. Lara and Bob found 24 golf balls on the golf course. Lara took 11. How many were left for Bob? How do you know? So if we think about what's happening here, we know that they found 24 golf balls and that Lara took 11 of them. So we wanna find out how many are left for Bob, which means we're definitely going to subtract um, so that we can find the difference. So we have 24 minus 11. If we start in the ones place, we have four ones. Can we take away one? We can. Four minus one is three, and then two minus one is one. So Bob has 13 golf balls. All right, let's practice a few of these like we did um, yesterday. So we have 32 minus 18, more on the top, more on the floor. We have more on the floor. Go next door and regroup 10 more. We have three tens, we're going to take one, which leaves us with two. Two plus 10 is 12. Now we're ready to subtract 12 minus eight. I'm gonna start at eight and put eight in my heart, count up to 12. 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. Let's try again, more on the top, more on the floor. 6 is bigger than 4. If we have 4, we can't take away 6, so we need to go next door. Take a 10, break a 10. That gives us 14 minus 6. I'm going to use the make a 10 strategy here, so 14 minus 4 is 10, minus 2 more would be 8 and three minus one is two. All right, more on the top or more on the floor in our ones place. We have, numbers are the same, trick question again. Numbers are the same, zero is the game. So five minus five is zero. And then we don't forget to take away your tens as well. Five tens, take away two tens, leaves us with three tens. Go ahead and pause your video. I want you to solve four, five, and six on your own. Push play when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, again, we're gonna start in our ones. Five minus four, one, two minus one is one. Did you get 11? Let's look again at number five. More on the top, more on the floor, more on the top. No need to stop. Nine minus two is seven, one minus one is zero, so I can leave that blank. More on the top, more on the floor. We have more on the floor. Go next door. Regroup, take a 10, break a 10. That leaves us with 16. 16 minus eight is eight. Two minus two is zero, so that leaves us with eight. How'd you do? Danny and Jamal are reading the same book. Danny has read 43 pages and Jamal has read 25. How many more pages has Danny read? Now we have to start with the whole, which is the bigger number, so we're gonna start with how many Danny read. She read 43. Jamal read 25. We're gonna line them up, up and down. We see here that five is bigger than three, so we're gonna go next door and regroup 10 more. Take a 10, break a 10. Th 13 minus five, eight. Three minus two, one. Which leaves us with 18. Now we're gonna fill that little circle in. Whoa, got a little wild there. All right, so how can you write a two-digit subtraction problem two different ways? Um, so we can actually write a two-digit subtraction problem a lot of different ways, right? We could write it out in words. We could write it out um, with models. We could write it vertically. We could write it horizontally. Um, those are the ways that you're most often going to see um, problems written out, such as um, 87 minus 42 can be written like this or 87 minus 42 can be written like this. Now, we like this second one because it's so much easier to keep track of what you've regrouped and where everything goes. So we're gonna find 52 minus 29. So 52 minus 29. We're gonna ask ourselves in the ones, more on the top, more on the floor, more on the floor. Go next door, hello, Mr. Five. 
take a five, which leaves us, or take a 10, which leaves us with four, break a 10, which leaves us with 10 ones and two ones, 12 ones minus nine ones, 12 take away nine is three, four take away two is two. All right, so now we're in our My Math book on page 255. Um, you are going to need your pencil. When you have those things, you can push play. And we're going to write in, not using these blue boxes, those are for regrouping, but we're gonna write in our whole, our first number, right under those blue boxes and make sure you write small enough that then you um, have room to write your second number, which in this case is 36, three tens, six ones. It's important that you write it out that way so that you are um, taking away from the right column. So now we ask ourselves in the ones, more on the top or more on the floor? More on the floor, go next door, regroup, take a 10, break a 10. Four plus 10 is 14. 14 minus six, eight. Four minus three is one. So we end up with 18 flowers still needing to bloom. Okay, so let's turn to page 256 and we're gonna go through our guided practice, practicing writing out our problems. And we always, always, always have to write the greater number on the top. Um, you'll get super confused if you end up with the smaller number on top because it just won't work. You'll have um, not enough tens to take away. So make sure that you've got that hole on the top and you're taking away the part and line them up and then you are ready to subtract. In this case, we've got 83 minus 28. We have to, more on the bottom, so we've got to go next door and regroup. Take a 10, break a 10. 13 minus eight is five, seven minus two is five. Okay, rewrite the problem. So now I want you to practice this with me on number one in your math book, on page 256, you need to write 38 and 19, just like I did. So you should have three, eight, one, nine, lined up just as I do. If you'd like, you can add your little squares up here to help you keep track of your regrouping if needed. Now we're gonna look in our ones place. We have more on the floor, so we need to go next door we're gonna take a 10, which leaves us with two 10s. Gonna break it into 10 ones, which means we're gonna move it over to the ones place. Eight plus 10 is 18. Now I'm ready to subtract. 18 minus nine is nine. I know that because nine plus nine equals 18. And two minus one is one. Okay, try it again with me. Write in 42, small enough that you have room to write in 27 underneath that. More on the top or more on the floor? We have more on the floor. Go next door, regroup 10 more. That leaves us with 12, minus seven is five, three minus two, one. All right, let's do one more together. 53 minus 38 draw your boxes if you'd like if not you can just write above more on the top more on the floor we have more on the floor go next door take a 10 break a 10 13 minus 8 is 5 4 minus 3 is 1 okay I'd like for you to go ahead and solve 4 5 and 6 on your own and push play when you are ready to check your answers. So we're going to write these in. Let's check and see how you did. 82 minus 46. Go next door, regroup 10 more. 12 minus six is six. Seven minus four is three. How'd you do? Did you get it right? More on the top, more on the floor. We have more on the floor. Go next door. Take a 10, break a 10. Four plus 10 is 14. 
14 minus 8 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. And this one may have tricked you. This one always gets second graders. Often when you look at 0 and 8, you think the answer is 8 because when we add 0 and 8, it is 8. And then when we have 8 minus 0, it is 8. But when we have 0, we cannot take away 8. If you have 0 cookies, you cannot take 8 cookies because there aren't any. So we do have to go next door on this one. Did it trick you? We're going to go next door, take a 10, break a 10. 0 plus 10 is just going to be 10. And now we're ready to subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. So why is it helpful to rewrite subtraction? It helps us to keep track of our regrouped 10s and 1s and keeps everything in line so that we can see um, where we need to subtract. So you are going to practice this same skill on 257, 258. You may upload pictures to schoolwork when you are